I love how there's a snake emoji next to Dan. Okay, so I think we know that Dan was a bit of a snake in this relationship. Dan, okay. I want the money for my JB ticket back, please. You said you didn't. Can I just have my money, please? Send it for tonight as I need it. Why? Just send it, please. I've set up a direct debit so you will receive one penny a day. <gasps> one cent has been sent to, with the reference cheating beep. Well, you got your money. Got your money. You literally couldn't even like take this to court because they'd be like, well, I am, I, I'm making payments. <laughs> I mean, it's for a Justin Bieber ticket or a Jonas Brothers, so that's hilarious. Honestly, that's pretty freaking clever. I wouldn't really want to give a penny a day to my exes, to be honest, so more generous than I would be. Maybe some of my exes, not all. Hi, Steven, do I have your attention now? I know all about her. You dirty, sneaky, immoral, unfaithful, poorly, Dowd slime bow, everything's caught on tape. Your soon to be ex wife, Emily. P.S. I paid for this billboard with our joint bank account. If that's real, hats off to you. I bow down because that's pretty freaking epic. Can you imagine? But how would you get them to see it? Because what if they didn't see it? Like, I'm sure you planned it and you put it on like a route on the way to work, but if they're driving, then they might not read all of that. But not only does Steven know, the rest of the freaking city knows now. That's what happens when you cheat on your freaking wife. Slime ball is right. Hope she was worth it. Ay, ay, ay. That sucks. That really sucks. Like deserved, absolutely sucks. Yeah. And the worst part is, is I just know that like you're gonna have to pay to fix it. That's the thing. People, I always see people like smashing up cars or spray painting cars and blah, 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 or ruining their property. But like, you're gonna have to pay for it. Especially if it's caught on camera. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if you ever really get away with that. And then I don't wanna pay to get their car fixed. That's even worse. And that is a lose-lose for me. Was she worth it though? That's what we all wanna know. Hey everyone, thanks for hanging out once again. We are definitely getting sassy today because we're checking out people who got sweet Revenge on their ex. Love to see it. Love to freaking see it, especially if they were like dirty cheaters. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. If you have a story of someone or you getting sweet revenge on an ex, tell me in the comments. My ex just sent me a picture of her having intimate relations with her new boyfriend to make me feel jealous. I send it to her dad. <gasps> No, don't bring her dad into this. Her dad didn't deserve it. He didn't do anything wrong. Oh no. First of all, there's so many things wrong with this. Like, I understand you want revenge, but I am not about to be taking pictures of that and then sending it to an ex who you know has the opportunity to do something with those photos. Like, that's kind of common sense on your end, but that's so bad. That is the most savage thing I've probably ever heard of in my entire life. Her dad, that makes me, f I feel nauseous. My cheating boyfriend, ex, is watching from couch instead. <laughs> so maybe they had tickets to go to this, but then like maybe he cheated. So she's like, well, screw it. I'm still going as you should. And then made this sign because he's probably watching the game and he's going to see that. I love it. That's so good. That's hilarious. What is that? Tell me that's not real. Tattoo artist gets revenge on cheating girlfriend. <gasps> Tattoo artist Ryan Fitzgerald was hit with a $100,000 lawsuit the other day by his ex girlfriend, Rosie, after he tattooed a big pile of poop on her back. Rosie claims that her boyfriend was supposed to tattoo a scene from Narnia on her back, but instead tattooed an image of a pile of excrement with flies buzzing around it. And then it gets blurry, because I think we know the rest. He really played up his acting skills and was like, yeah, babe, I'll totally tattoo you. I'm a tattoo artist, of course, you're my bae. Probably found out she cheated and then did this. Do you think he owed her $100,000? What do you even get charged with for something like that in court? Like, 
charge for tattooing pile of poop without knowledge? Like, what do you get charged with? Man orders food costing $13,000 as revenge on ex-girlfriend. Shut the front door. In a plot to get revenge against his ex-girlfriend, a man named Harris ordered food from his for, for his former partner. However, she was shocked by the bill. Enjoy your deal. Goodbye, Harris. What the F? Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's in a language I can't read. I saw enjoy your deal. Goodbye. And I thought it was in English. And then I saw Harris. What the F? And then the rest goes into another language. So super deal three, super deal one, super deal three drinks. Wow. Subtotal. You gotta be kidding me. There's no delivery. Well, I guess when you're paying 13,000, you better hope there's no freaking delivery. Wouldn't they suspect something? Wouldn't they be like, do, is this a mistake? Do you really want $13,000 worth of food right now? That's a lot of food. I wouldn't pay that bill. No freaking chance. He had to go. His stuff had to go. Ex-wife yard sale. Shut the front door. Saturday, nine to four. I need to take notes of this moment because down the road, knock on wood, God forbid someone ever decides to marry this mess. But if anything were to happen, that's kind of slightly genius, you know? He got some of his old clothes, maybe some of his old shoes, things like that. Sell it make some money and people seeing this if i saw ex-wife yard sale ex-husband i'm going just to contribute and to support you and your breakup <laughs> if they deserved it of course i need to know the details first like give me the tea that's hilarious nine lost don't oh, stop it now stop it now i can't this is not freaking real this is not real lost dog and it's her breed i can't even say these words um sloot likes to sniff and then in brackets, it has an illegal substance. Answers to, and then her name, Heather Malone. Last scene, effing Mike Froland. I cannot. Like 10 out of 10 for creativity and effort. Honestly, I'm not even mad about it because this is so iconic, but wow, that's so savage. That's a lot. Heather, what did you do? It's not good. I would like to say congratulations to Shara Cormier and Patrick Brown. They are expecting a baby. Hope you both are really in love and I hope it works out. <gasps> Always Patrick's wife. Oh, shut up, Tamisha Brown. So you're telling me that Tamisha, she paid for this newspaper shout out and congratulated her husband and the other woman for them having a baby. Wow, that is the ultimate though, like kill him with kindness, like a, take a jab, because it's like very, you didn't say anything bad, you kept it calm, cool, and collected, but like we all know where it's coming from. Always Patrick's wife, not even ex-wife, wife. I always thought I was savage, you know, until this. And it's like, wow, I really could do some damage here in the future. I've seen this, I saw the clip. Woman sets fire to clear water man's car, $5,000 reward for information on the woman. Literally, I've seen the clip and the, like the news clip and stuff because I've reacted to it on another channel. She straight up set a car on fire and it was the wrong car. Wrong car. I hope that's this lady in this example. There was two that I've seen of a woman set the car. I'm pretty sure it was this. And she set this car on fire and it wasn't even her ex's car, but she thought it was her ex's car. It was this whole mess, you guys. Whole mess. Can you imagine lighting a person's car on fire thinking it's your ex and it's like, actually that's my car. <laughs> Welcome home, cheater. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, that's so awkward. Especially all the neighbors driving by because you know if I saw this in my neighborhood, mark my words, I'm going up to the door, knocking on the door and saying, hey girl, you okay? Or hey man, you okay? Tell me what freaking happened. Give me the tea, let's do it. Cause I'm nosy. Nosy, I wanna know. All right guys, those are some people who got sweet revenge. Before I leave, I'm gonna do today's sassy shout out and it goes to Caitlin. How do you not know who Ian, Ian Somerhal, Somerhalder is? I guess since you are from Canada, you don't know all of the American celebs. He is gorgeous and perfect and beautiful and talented and I just can't. If y'all can in Canada, check out Vampire Diaries, it's so good. Okay, so I saw a bunch of people being like, this is Ian, whatever his name is, all over. I don't know, I've never watched Vampire Diaries. So if I've never seen the show, of course I'm not gonna know who he is. Is he in other things? I know of the show, I know what Vampire Diaries is, but I don't know who's in it. Never seen it. All right guys, I'm getting out of here. I will see you in another video. Bye. Hello. Would you mind focusing on my face, please? Mm-mm-mm. Alrighty then. I feel like, what the hell was that? 
Might have a burp. I'm just gonna give it a sec. Nope, a yawn. Cool. Sorry. Okie dokie. Hadijo. They said, how do you know, how do you, Have you even subscribed to the channel yet? Don't be a fake fan, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to.